Bro, high school kids are the worst. Hold on now, hold on now. Wait, 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 wait. Let me explain. I got a story for you. Bro, y'all know exactly. Y'all know exactly how high school used to be, right? You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to be popular. Everybody trying to, you know what I'm saying, fit in the crowd. Everybody want to seem like this, the best thing since sliced bread, right? I mean, it sounds a lot like right now, but like, there's in high school, you know, there's, there's hormones involved, like, you know what I'm saying? There's peaking and stuff, and then you got a lot of cringe people, a lot of people who think, you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, just bullying everything, right? Y'all know how high school was, right? I don't gotta go too much deep into that. But I wasn't bullied in high school per se. Okay, except for one time, bro. There was this one guy who named, whose name was Pompous, right? That, <laughs> his name was Pompous, right? At least that's what they used to call him, right? In high school, uh, there was this one time I was just changing my clothes, like he's at PE, right? And it was at the end of the class, so we had to go in the, in the stalls and get changed and get ready for the next class, right? So I'm changing and they just wanted to mess with me or whatever, right? So I was behind the stall and they like kicked on the door, they like, then, like I was just in there minding my own business, right? Like leaning over, trying to get my clothes out to get ready. All I have, all I hear from behind me, <laughs> boom. Like I'm like, bro, what's the what's 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 going on? Like why why are you knocking on? Like who are what are you doing? That's what I said. I was like, what are you doing? Like, who are you? What you trying to do? Right? He's like, open this door. I was like, open the door for what? I changed it. I using it. Use another store. He was like, bro, open this door, right? And then I. I think I, I I first of all like at, at that time right I was volatile I'm gonna be honest I was volatile because like I said prior to that I really truly after that I didn't really get bullied I wouldn't call it like me getting bullied right after he knocked on the door he went <laughs> knocking on the door right I, I after a few words exchange I said yo I was like all right fuck you right get get away. I was like fuck you well, I know who you talk to fuck you get away from my door right I was I was dead I was serious I was serious I was like bro fuck you right and he said what he said what they go walk up he came through that man came through and kicked my kicked the door in bro that, he kicked the door in bro broke it and and the door had uh what you would call actually no 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 i know what happened i i had opened the door to the guy and say fuck you right i opened it to him I, in his face i looked at his face I like fuck you right i i closed the door but i didn't lock it he then kicked the door because it was unlocked at this point. He kicked the door at an unlock. And then me being me, I was like, bro, I ain't on your run, bro. So I tried to ignore him, right? That was that was my mistake. That was my mistake, bro. I tried to ignore him, right? And I, I heard the door kick open. I, I heard I know the door is open at this point. But I'm still looking forward, bro. Still looking at getting myself. I was like, bro, I ain't trying to deal with this right now. I just want to get my clothes, just want to get changed and get a body here, right? That's all I try. That's all I trying to do. That's all I trying to do. They wasn't trying to see it like that though, right? The dude walked up behind me, bro. Smacked me right in the back of my neck, bro. Like, like I was bald or something. Like, like first of all, I was bald. I didn't. I don't have that much hair. I have a little bit of hair. I was bald in high school. Like, the thing with them back then is like they used to like shave your head, and if your hair got any higher above two inches, so I was like, what? Like that, nah, you gotta shave it off. They they only wanted you military style bald. Okay, that's it. No other way. You could get a fade, but like you can't really tell it's that much of a fade because it's fucking bald, basically, right? So I got slapped as if I just got a fresh cut. You see what I'm saying? He just smacked my shit, right? And as soon as he hit me, bro, that he fucking ran. I mean, I couldn't do nothing against him because I'm not gonna lie. His name was fucking Pompous. He fought as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I like he was just bigger than me. And I was a little small, frail kid, not gonna lie, I was just little, I was in like, what, grade 8 or something? He was probably like in the 11th or 12th grade or something. But he was like big and, and, and I don't know, I was small. I didn't, I couldn't do anything to him if he had stayed there. But he slapped me and ran, but I knew who he was. I knew exactly who he was. So I went there, you know what I'm saying? And, and everybody was there laughing, like, ah, oh, they laughing. Like, you just get slapped, ah, oh, and they laughing. He dip up, and I... I don't go lie, he stitched on him. Okay, look, I ain't never really, I ain't never really stitched in my life. I will be honest, I ain't never really stitched in my life. But like that right there, bro. Like knowing he did that, and I can't do nothing about it because he ran, and I can't go after him and fight the guy. You want me to go fight him? Me? I was like this speed. I mean, not really, but you get the point. He be like that. I be like that. He be like that. I couldn't really fight him. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the point I'm trying to make it. So. I stitched on him, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I call it secure, security, secure, whatever. Call him over, and I was like, I know who we, I know what he looked like. This is his, his name, what he go by. You know what I'm saying? 
Now he in, he in grade like 11 or 12, so he should be in one of these classes over here, right? And we walked through each individual class and we found his eyes, bro, and they called him. And I don't know what, what happened to him. I don't know if he got like, I can't remember what happened, but something happened that made me feel good. Not only me catching him made me feel good, but something happened to him. And I was like, thank you. I appreciate you. You see what I'm saying? I appreciate you. So, um, really sure. I know I went on a little bit off topic, but that's besides the point. I made it tell you guys about the time that I, I didn't see it as cringe at the time, but I embarrassed myself. Okay. One of my, one of the more embarrassing stories, actually, at least back in high school. It's going to be a minute. <laughs> I already tell it's going to be a minute. We're already like, what, five, six minutes in and I ain't even at the story yet. But anyway, in this story, right? There's little old me in about, I think it happened around the same time too. It's kind of crazy. Everything happened around that time, bro. But little old me saw, you know what I'm saying? Saw someone at the school, you know what I'm saying? You you could, you know you know how you get when you see the girl, uh, the cute girl or what's not, who, uh, who everybody likes, you know what I'm saying? The semi-popular one or somewhat popular, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get a little butterflies. Like, you don't really want to talk to them. Like, you want to talk to them, but you can't really talk to them because you don't know how. I mean, some people like that right now, but, like, back then it was even worse because you were a kid, right? So, here I am. I was like, all right, how, how am I going to do this, right? I'm thinking, like, okay, I see her. She comes early in the mornings all the time. Me too, right? So, I'm thinking, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just walk up to her and talk to her, like, in the morning because why? At that time, it's early you know what I'm saying? We both there at the same time. Nobody else is really around. So, like, it could it could be a good time. I don't know any other better times because she probably could be busy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Other people around. I might get too scared. She might be with her friends. I, I, I don't know. So, I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to catch her locking in the morning, right? <laughs> I'm going to catch her locking in the morning, right? So, I pull up on her. And I, at least I tried to. I attempted to. You know what I'm saying? I was scared, got butterflies, you know what I'm saying? You know, your chest feel like it's caving in and you can't really do you can't really do much. So I was like, yeah, nah, this ain't it. My heart is beating on my fucking chest. It looked like oh no, I was like on some Tom and Jerry shit, right? So here we are now, right? Um I like, alright, that ain't work. So what could I do right now, right? I'm like, what could I what could I do? How am I gonna get this girl's attention? without me seeming too weird i didn't know what was too weird by the way I, and to be honest i'm glad i went through this so i know what not to do like these are one of those learning experiences and i think everybody should go through it because i never do anything like this again unless it's in the right context and i know how to like present it better i know how to do it better you see what i'm saying you got to make it more smooth right this one wasn't so smooth so i thought to myself like all right bet how am i gonna approach it right i'm like i can't speak to her. every time i try to talk every time i try to talk I choke up on my words. Every time I try to speak to her, I get close, but I don't really get too close to actually initiate the conversation with her, right? So I'm like, all right, think. What could I do? How could I communicate to her without using my mouth? With a pen and paper, bro. So I decided, you know what I'm saying? That same night, I went ahead and I, I, I conjured up a poem, bro. Like, I was in my, I remember me laying, bro, I swear I remember me laying down, bro. It was like 8 or 9 p.m., you know what I'm saying? I was laying down on my bed, or shared around with my brother, and I was there just, like, twiddling my feet. Like, I was laying on my stomach, you know, like, there, and I had the pen or the book or whatever, the paper I was writing on with the pen in the dark now, because I didn't want nobody else to see this. I was in the dark writing this, you know what I'm saying? So that's how you know it's real. <laughs> nah, so I was there writing, right, and my legs up twirling and shit, kicking around and shit, with not like, like, fiddling with my legs, you know, you know, like, when you're on a phone call and you just start doing random shit on the phone, you know what I'm saying, like, like, that, it's like one of those times, right, so, I write, and I can't remember exactly, like, how the poem went, per se, but this, these lines, these one line or one or two lines is the ones that stuck with me, because, like, it, it'll make sense more in the future, but these two lines stuck with me, bro. I remember vividly. I remember writing like I remember writing something like, uh, "Oh, you're one in a million, a trillion, or some some corny ass shit, right?" And especially in the eighth grade, bro. Like, nah, bro, I can't believe I. <laughs> something was wrong with me, bro. I was like, "You're one in a million, a trillion, or something like that, bro." And I rhymed some other shit with trillion or million, whatever, right? So I was finished with that, and I came up the next day. Right, so the next day rolls around. All right, now keep in mind, like I said, I know she comes into school in the morning, right? And I come there too, so I was prepared. Like she would be by herself. I'm ready. No one else around to see. So it was all in my favor, basically, right? Right? It's basically all in my favor to go and present this note to her or this poem to her at this time, right? So 
I pull up, you know what I'm saying? It's like 8, 9 a.m., whatever, or 8 a.m., or something like that, before school started for us, right? And and she was standing there by, like, her, her room door, like, somewhere in the corner or what's not. And I spot her from a fucking mile away. I mean, I don't know if y'all know what I looked like back then. I probably put a photo up right now. So, this is what I used to look like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, y'all be the judge, right? So... Imagine this little nigga, that little nigga, walking up to you with a fucking big ass hoodie. Cause I used, bro, I I used to wear hoodies all the time, bro. I, it was me, small little black ass fucking little little nigga with like glasses on and like this giant pop pop bigger than him, bigger than me, and it, it was full too. Cause you know what I'm saying, I had to carry all my books. You know what I'm saying? Like even if it wasn't for books for that day. I had to bring my books to my bike because you never know, right? At least that's what I was thinking, bro. So imagine me. I walking up to you. You're just trying to relax. You're in the corner, right? By yourself, basically. And I come I come there spreading. You know what I'm saying? It's like puffing that big ass jacket, that John, I mean, big ass jacket and backpack. Like puffing that John Sport, you know what I'm saying? Walking. You know what I'm saying? I, I see you in the corner over there. I bust the bend. I start walking. So now I'm walking this way, right? So now I'm walking. You see what I'm saying? Walking, walking. And I pull up and. I am sweating. When I say I am sweating, I am sweating bullets, bro. I ain't never sweat that much in my life. My, actually, nah, no, I can't. That's cap, that's cap. But like, you know what I mean, bro. You know what I mean. Like, like I was the type of person to sweat very easily, especially back in high school. I'm doing bad. I don't, I don't know what it was back then. I mean, maybe my glands was just way too open. I don't know because it was very hot. I'm more, I'm in more of a cool environment right now, so maybe that's why I don't sweat as much. But like back then, bro, I would sweat for no reason. I played. I play ball for like two and a half, five minutes. My entire face wet. Hey, my, my arm wet, my jacket, my, not my jacket, my school shirt wet. And everybody else there just like chilling. They like ain't got nothing on, bro. You would think I was doing all the work. I mean, I was low key because you know what I'm saying? I was that nigga playing ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hoop hooper, right? Y'all saw the last video. I'm not last video. Y'all saw one of my previous videos. Like, I'm the best hoop on YouTube. And I stand by that. Once I get back in the groove, like, no one stopped me. Anyway, that's besides the point, right? So I'm walking up. I came to her, and she looked at me, and I looked at her. I mean, we just stood there for like, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. It was just quiet, like nothing was said, and it was awkward, bro. It was awkward as fuck. Cause like I just walked up, me the same, you know what I'm saying? That guy right there, he just pulled up on you in the corner, trying to mock on you, but you don't know that at the time. I'm just standing there, just we just this is awkward. It's just quiet. We just staring at one another, right? And I was just like, and she was asking me like, what? Like what you you want, and I did like kicking like you know what I'm saying like kicking my fucking legs and shit doing some you know what I'm saying doing some weird ass some you know? <laughs> swinging my legs and shit you see what I'm saying so I I reached into my bag and now you know what I'm saying looking back on it it'd have been scary I just reached in my bag after not talking for a while and you by yourself in the corner earlier nah nah stop but. Yeah, so I took off my backpack, you know what I'm saying? I reached in there, sweating once again. I took it off in front of me. I'm digging through, digging through, and find the paper. It's, it's a little mashed, a little bit mashed. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't think to put it in a folder or nothing. I just tossed it in my bag between my books, hoping that that would keep it flat. It didn't really keep it flat, though. So I pull it out, and like I said, I'm sweating. So now I touch the paper, and I had a paper wet. Now I got sweat dripping all the day. I'm like, I'm just like, just get it out of my hand. I'm like, here. And here, this is for you. I, I remember bending down, you know what I'm saying? I gave this to her, and she picked it up, and she grabbed it. And I literally, in that second, I bolted, bro. She didn't know what, the, I, I, I I did it so quick. Like, I just handed up the paper, and I'm like, got my bike. I stopped fucking, I did, bro. I literally ran away. I dead ass ran away after giving her the paper, bro. So, <laughs> so here I am running, 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 thinking I did something good, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I don't know, maybe it was just like the nerves or something. Like my heart was just beating fast and I, I, I didn't know what to do. So I, I gave her the paper and I did. <laughs> I did. I didn't want to beat her while she's reading it because I feel like that would have been 10 times more awkward, right? It's like if she rejected me, at least it wouldn't have been immediately. You know what I mean? So I had to, I, I had to, I at least had that on me. Yeah, and if she rejected me, it wasn't immediately. You see what I'm saying? Um, she re like she rejected me. I think y'all y'all know the story is going, right? So fast forward fast forward fast forward right that was in the morning now so now it's like lunch time you know what i'm saying so we, we ate lunch you know what i'm saying eating boom 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 i'm still thinking about this morning i'm like bro why did i do that bro why did i run away right not not 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, that was probably the most cringiest thing that I did. Like, gave her the paper and then fucking ran away. I didn't even look in the eye. I didn't say a word. I just dipped, right? So, I'm like, bro, why did I do that, bro? I'm still thinking, but I was like, you know what? It's cool. It's cool. I didn't see her for that the rest of that day. However, I did see her friends, though, because she had, you know, it got your little clicks in high school. You got your clicks. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like a popular or somewhat popular, you know what I'm saying? At least for the, for the age group or like the, uh, like the grade group you see what i'm saying it's somewhat popular because people was liking them etc etc right and th that's that kind of click her other friends like her other friends in that click they caught me locking on like during lunch and i walk in and i see them just like they look at me and like you just tell her it's talking about me because one saw me and then they look back talk they did a little whisper and they look back and then all of them looked at me right and i was just like okay like okay and i'm like, still walking my big ass back like i walk 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 and they started laughing, right? I don't know why I thought we was friends like that. You know what I'm saying? At least I tried to like be friendly, but like it, it wasn't like the same. It wasn't reciprocated like that, right? So I walked up and they started laughing. And I'm like, hey, what y'all, what y'all? By the way, actually, no. I, I, I wasn't like that. I, was, I started laughing too. Like it was awkward because I was laughing. I was still thinking about this morning, but I was hoping, I was hoping this was not the case, bro. I was laughing with them. I was like, <laughs> like big laugh. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's so funny. Like, what's so, what you're laughing at, though? <laughs> like, I'm fake laughing, trying to, you know what I'm saying, to get in to, to figure out, like, what's so funny because I was curious it was funny, but I mean, like, I had to get in there somehow, right? So. I'm there fake laughing, asking what's so funny. Bro, I kid you not. One of them dead ass turned around, reached in their backpack, and took out my motherfucking poem. They pulled out my poem in front of them and in front of me, start in front of everybody else that's just walking back and forth, and started fucking reading the poem back to me, bro. What, 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 would I, what was I supposed to do? What can I do in that scenario? There's nothing I can do in that scenario, bro. That, like, that was probably one of the worst feelings I ever had. Especially, I was already overthinking it, already thinking I, I, I messed up. I was weird, it was creepy, awkward, etc., etc. Then they turned around and did this. So, they turned around and did that. And I, I was I was confused, bro. I actually, I'm not even more confused, bro. I was just straight up embarrassed, dog. I was embarrassed, bro. Like... If I was white, you could have seen my old face turn red. But you probably could have seen my face turn red back then too, bro. Because that's how embarrassed I was, bro. Like, I was straight embarrassed, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, bro. Right? <laughs> so, I did the next best thing right after that. You know what I'm saying? They read my poem. They laugh and point at me. I did the next best thing, bro. I... They got bolted again. <laughs> Nigga, I bolted again. I bolted again. They read the poem to me, and I did the dash a second time. Right? They <laughs> they read it to me, and I just literally turned around, didn't say a word after that. I just left. I like ran away, bro. Just dip, turn around, gone. Left the camp, not the campus, but left the fucking building. I don't know where I went to. I can't remember where I ran to. I was just gone. I was not there anymore. And they was laughing as I was running away again, bro. And it was awkward because I had to I had to see them again. We go to the same school. We about in the, around the same grade. Like, I I had to see them again. All right, so, bro, I thought that was foul because it was like, bro, it's supposed to be between us, me and you. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? You passing off your your my, my poem to your friends? That wasn't for them. That was for you. You see what I'm saying? But. I tripping us water under the bridge because why? Like I said, I'm glad I went through the scenario because now I know what to do. I know how to handle it. And what I did was not what to do, and I handled it way incorrectly. Just terribly handled that situation, right? So, um, yeah, bro. Like I say, though, like there's plenty of scenarios just like this. Worse, slightly better. You know what I'm saying? Like, more of the story, bro. High school kids are the worst, bro.